name is Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die, and memories travel. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're gonna play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I got this. Okay. Then what color is... That beat up old fence by the side of the road. There's a fence? <gasps> Has young Miss Walker been stumped at last? Will a simple fence be the end of her glorious winning streak? Wait, it's brown, but the paint was white. Hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Let me just have one last look around. Ready? Hang on, just a few more seconds. <laughs> Is it five? Nope, it's six. I win! I win! Oh, did I doze off? Mommy, I won! You did? Great job, love bug. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Come on, back in the car. We still got 45 states license plates to spot. <clears throat> hey. Hey. You... You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh... You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. <sighs> Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hon. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Grandpa! Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> How far did you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I want to make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. You're listening to Drive Time on KFB, Blackstaff's first and finest. It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm just too frightened by the sound <laughs> of the pieces of <laughs> no fall down, but the lead said, oh, it was good. So, what's next? License plate game? Another round of row, 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 your boat? <laughs> She fell asleep halfway through your solo. 
You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. <laughs> you are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. <sighs> Let's just pretend this is a vacation. Family trip, Route 66, we collect a few pressed pennies, <laughs> and then back to Sacramento. Vince, we can't. That's not our life anymore. Look, I'm just trying to stay positive. <laughs> You've got your tenure, I've got my new job. Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. 10,000 bucks. You should have gone for the jugular, sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. Give me a little space on this one, okay? Of course. Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked them. What was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. Zoe wanted you to come. Well, Zoe appreciates me, even if no one else does. Oh, look at her little face. She wouldn't dream of making an old man feel he wasn't... <laughs> Okay, Pumpkin? What happened? She's just shaken, I think. <sighs> Great. Hey, thanks for coming back. If you give me Learn a how to drive, asshole! Are you kidding me? Country kids. Or oh, a desert version. Lucky we're still in one piece. <laughs> Man, the look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. That's the one. 28 Northwood. Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay, you ready? Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. I knew we shouldn't have brung him. Come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive, we keep the house, everything goes back to normal.
And you're sure it's empty? On Fridays, he takes his wife to an appointment. Same deal every week. You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. <laughs> and you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Then here's your chance. Hop that fence and find a way in. Whoa! Does Ma know you took that? Nope. But someone's got to watch your backs. We got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale! The code. Jay can read. Don't screw this up, kid. We're counting on you. All right. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. It's the big bad wolf. Not funny. What happened? He's got a Doberman. I had to lock it in the shed. What's that? <laughs> Idiot. Whose house is this? Dante Romero. King of the pigs. Wait, the sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to juvie. I know, but... But what? Way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. Tyler said we only have an hour. Maybe we should start looking for the safe. Ah, whatever. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is two rock, not NYPD blue. Now get looking for that safe. here. Good place to hide a safe. Or not. You find anything? No. Maybe it's upstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. What are you doing? It's for my girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend. Shut up. I'm working on it. Hey, when life gives you lemons, <laughs> come here. Help me get a little payback. We shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. Ah, uh, you're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. All right, enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. Okay.
his wife. Twelve years repairing jumbo jets, you'd think I'd be able to fix a car. You okay? Yeah, sure. Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I can stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Thanks for waiting. Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanic's away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then, just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got, uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! Please, if you could trust me to pay the rest tomorrow, it would mean a lot. My daughter, she really needs her sleep, and my dad is one hell of a snorer. Oh, the sweetheart. If this is all just to cheat me out of a few dollars. Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is, oh, hey, welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norman to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, dang. You burst a tire or something? I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Hey, do I know you? Nah. People just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. Oh, thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel? Please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. All right, but only a half hour. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. Uh. You okay? Uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. Would you mind robbing it for a minute? Uh. Nice room. Looks just like mine. Well, I'm gonna take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I wanna talk to you about something.
Uh, you go ahead. I'm gonna stay. Can I come? You're the one I was really hoping for. <laughs> Thank you for staying. I know I'm irritable when it comes to your dad. We mean in the car earlier? Don't worry about it. It's just, you know what he wants, right? He's gonna ask you if he can move in with us. Oh God, you think? I'd bet money on it. I mean, well, maybe we should consider it. His cancer's only going one way. I feel for him. I just, I don't know if I trust him. He disappeared from your life for almost 30 years. I don't want him doing that to Zoe. I know. But back then, he bounced between rehab centers like a pinball. He, he's different now. Come on, <sighs> give me your shoulders. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> but go lower. <sighs> Oh, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that's great, Vince. Thank you. You know, when I picked Zoe up yesterday, her teacher kept telling me what a smart kid she is. That she's ahead on reading and numbers. Was there ever any doubt? She also said that, with Zoe changing schools, it might be worth thinking about her skipping first grade and going straight into second. Wait, what? That's what I said. But then I thought about it, and maybe this could be really good for her. She'd be challenged, learn new things. Michelle, no. She'll be the runt of the class. They'll take her lunches and stuff them up a tree. Or she'll have a bunch of great friends who just happen to be a few months older than her. Oh, I don't know. She's already moving to a new state. Things at home have been... You know, she heard us fighting the other night. Does she really need more stress? Of course not, but maybe we just take a leap on this one? <sighs> okay, if you think it's a good idea. Really? I want what's best for her. She'll just have to make taller friends. <laughs> well, great. I'll get the ball rolling on Monday. And hey, look. About the other night... Daddy, the car is back! Grandpa told me to come get you. He did? Well, great. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some snacks from the vending machine. You want anything? Uh, no. We're good. So, Bill turns to Hillary and says, But I thought the Gaza Strip was a topless bar. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is where the party is. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. What do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests. Get it round back, quick. What in the world? On the ground, now! Good boy. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. Nobody's gonna hurt you, okay? Right. Sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone.
Well, I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't pry. Thank you. Everything okay up there? It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. Uh, that a boy. It has to be in here. here. Uh, bird watching. That's cool. Tyler's keeping watch. Dale! I found it! What the... Where's the code? Yes! Whoa. Dale, check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> How much does this prick make? Here, let's load it up. Man, if I had as much money as this greedy asshole, I'd give it all to charity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <sighs> Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd run and buy a 64 Pontiac GTO. Prettiest piece of metal you ever saw on four wheels. Ugh. What about you? Now, what would you do if you could keep all this cash? I'd get a bus ticket and get out of this dump. Why, you gonna leave us? <laughs> Maybe. I'm 18 now. Good luck with that. Last time a Hulk got out of two rocks was never. Play it cool when we're outside. Hey, we were plumbers. Call to check a clog. <sighs> Shit. Go. Go. Not coming up. Just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way.
came back early. Yeah, no shit. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. <laughs> nice work, guys. How about we stop for burgers on the way home, huh? Have a little celebration. We're gonna be celebrating every day for a week. Cars in the area west two rock searching for a blue pickup truck copy on the other quest is everything okay no it's not fucking okay i need units now someone robbed my house <sighs> they didn't see us turn in how'd they even find us we got away clean he must have seen the truck listen up we're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> Dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Zeus. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Prince, we need to do something. Just do what he said. Keep quiet. And what if they change their minds? These boys are obviously making it up as they go. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta drop move. the weapon. <sighs> Easy now. Let's I just... said drop it. Let's all just take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. No, he's right. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said take off the masks. No. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I, I... I'm sorry, I can't. Christ. Really, Paul? You, grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. gun a day in your life. I learned quick, though. <laughs> you touch my things again, you won't be happy. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's... it's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. You boys. You haven't hurt anyone, have you? Yeah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. 
The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? <laughs> or how about this? <laughs> Shut it up. Now, he's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Hey, hey, Zeus. Remember me? I said, shut the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me! Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet! Jim, give him here. That's it. Good boy. Nice and calm. There. Are you happy? Now put the gun down. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? I'm tired of you. Tape her mouth shut. Sorry. What the hell is going on out here? Uh, she was annoying me. All right, it's settled. We stay put about an hour and leave once it's dark. Fuck, a whole hour? Hold on. Why do they have so much luggage? Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. family. My father, my wife, my little girl. Go check the rooms. Uh. You know something? I don't like you. First sign of trouble and you sell out your own family? You're scared shitless right now. Tell me I'm wrong. You don't know the first thing about who I am. Don't I? Nope. But this tough guy act of yours, that I can't see through. Let's just hope your walk's as cool as your talk. <laughs> it's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. <gasps> Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two, keep your mouths shut and this will all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. 
Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Uh, sorry to say uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. <sighs> How you like in the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're just here for the night. On our way to Missouri, actually. Oh, yeah? Why Missouri? If you don't mind me prying. My wife grew up there. You know what? It doesn't matter. No problem. Just had to ask. There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house. If you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Like I said, Call us if you see or hear anything. You too, right, pal? Absolutely, officer. I'll call you personally. Well, all righty then. All right, y'all take care now. Huh. Vince. Daddy. What's happening? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Dale, Jay, we're leaving early. We're taking her. What? Wait, no. Hang on now. If we get away without being followed, I'll drop her at a payphone. But if you call the cops, Please, I'm begging you. Leave my wife out of this. If you need someone, take me. It's not up for discussion. If you want to help her, keep the cops away. a gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? I knew you'd be sensible, but I can't let you get away with that.
I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. Oh. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I don't know what I was thinking. If you'd really done it, with Zoe watching, it was stupid. No, it was brave. Just don't get us killed. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a Class 3 felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's broken to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. <laughs> you people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Were you the one who called 911? <laughs> I dialed and left it off the hook. <laughs> We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small-town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. Is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah. I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Hey, guys. What do bank robbers eat for dessert? Uh, Heist cream. You get it? <laughs> You're an idiot. You know that? I mean, it was kind of funny. You see? He gets it. You just don't have a sense of humor. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay? Make sure nobody answers the damn phone. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or 
we use scissors? Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? Quick, I'll block the door. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... my family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Oh, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? Joyce and Paul are both doing okay. Yeah, Joyce is tough. I always told her she could have been a cop if she wanted. How about a kid? He's at a friend's house, I think. Oh, that's good. What else? You're good. Keep going. He isn't hurt exactly, but with all the stress. I hear what you're saying. We'll get him out, okay? Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. I have a six-year-old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but God, the things she's seen today. Oh, poor thing. We'll get her out of there, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. So keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't have time. You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want 
Here's my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You can stick your hand in and your pen right up your ass! Oh, so you do got a little fight left in you, huh? <gasps> Shit! <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? This is done. I guess some dreams never get off the ground. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? <sighs> Seems like I'm packing my whole world away. chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? Mm -hmm. Nope. Be strong, Vince. Step away from the chocolate. Daddy! Hi, pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Millie gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite.
Mmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. <sighs> hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um... What happened? To be honest, I kind of fell asleep on the couch. I know, I know. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. Which is why I made... Chocolate pudding! Ta-da! Vincent Walker. <laughs> you know how to twist a lady's arm. Okay. You're off the hook for not doing the chores. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So... How are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like... What? When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? Mm. Love you, all the way to the moon. I want mommy. <sighs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! Coming, love bug. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? back but it doesn't work so i suppose i could try the manual transfer switch <laughs> not getting out that way hey hey <sighs> okay. 
can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. You can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <laughs> Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Too, pumpkin. It's okay. Let it all out. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before before the lights come back on, okay? With mommy and grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. All right. Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the holts? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Don't move. Where are the perps? Dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. What the hell are you doing? Grandpa! <gasps> Sanchez is hit! 
I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh, hurt? I don't know, honey. Uh, 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 uh. Jim, are you okay? Dad! He needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance! He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? Jim, how do you feel? My head's throbbing. Is Eddie okay? Who? I'll I'll be all right. I I just need a, a minute to to get my easy now. He needs to see a doctor. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. Uh. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's, veggie delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? I hear divorce is stressful. Anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember?
Now, by the way, you got a message. Something about Cupcake? Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? I was checking to see if it was the movers. I didn't say you could spy on me. <sighs> Some things are private. It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Daddy? Zoe, hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Daddy. Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and Mommy? Why would you ask that? Hannah's parents used to argue, and now they don't get to live together anymore. Don't worry, honey. We're not doing that. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. You never said anything about him before? I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just... I don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. It's just, yeah. like you said, I've lost a lot this year. Don't want to lose you, too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. Wait, 
Wait. <sighs> Are you okay? No, it's fine. I'm just, um... I'm just tired with the move and everything. Yeah. We better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Night. Vince, I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I've got your veggie pizzas. You want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Uh, not me. Please. T take Zoe. I'm... Uh, well, uh, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Jim, you have a head injury. You're getting an MRI. That's the end of it. Please. I don't need a hospital. Take him out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. When I bump my head, Mommy puts ice on it. Maybe I'll try that. I love you, kiddo. Hey, look. You dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. <sighs> okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. Wait, where's Zeus? Where you got hit in the head. Is it on the same side? That's what? That's the tumor. Oh, God. Uh, Vince, there is no tumor. How hard were you hit? You were diagnosed a year ago. It's in your parietal lobe. It's not real. I made it up. What? Look, a year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed, and, and suddenly I was alone. My brother was long gone. I had no other family, just you. So I started to imagine being a father again. You weren't going to let me back in your life after so many years, not without a good reason. No. No, 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 no. Tell me this is the concussion talking. And you were going to ask to move in with us? Vince, I don't know why I did it. I wish I hadn't. I guess I've just been lying to people for so long I can't tell the difference anymore. Why are you telling me this now? Because if anything happens to you tonight... Hey, hurry it up! Everything good I've ever had, I've ruined. My marriage, my health. Son, I lied because I want a family. I want you, I want Zoe. If we survive tonight, please. Give me another shot.
One more chance. That's all you get. Thank you, Vince. It means everything to me. I should go before he recognizes me. What? Can I get a paramedic here? <laughs> I'm Sheriff Romero. I guess you must be Vince. Where's your little girl? She's still inside. Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. <sighs> Did Grandpa see a doctor? He's seeing one now, honey. He'll be all right. Strange thing, though. I think he knows the sheriff. Really? How? He didn't say. But I met him and he was... Uh... What? Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Is that a good thing? I mean, for us? You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. We don't get to eat? No. I said no, 
The answer is no. <laughs> hey, how about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. Well, they need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us? You let one of us go. That counts for something. I really don't care what you think counts for what. They giving you problems? Nah. I got this. Oh, shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. Huh. Never thought of it like that. But what you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. And Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting the job soon. It's not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Don't you have a cousin you can marry? Keep it in the gene pool. What the hell did you say? Nothing. It was... It was just a joke. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Gene pool, huh? <laughs> Good one. So, what do you say? Share the pizza? Here. Just tell him I stop complaining. And hey, about your old man? You know I didn't mean to hit him so hard, right? He just ran and I... Sure. Whatever you say. Well, I'll be damned. Wondered what got into you back there. We keep them happy. We might just make it through this. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. Tyler, come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale fucking Holt. Huh. You were the ones in my house. Yep. Nice place you got there, asshole. Vince, I didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. Hmm. You know... 
You were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back, <laughs> some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! Step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. from the fucking water tower. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Vince. It's okay. I'm all right. What was he talking about, huh? What goddamn black book? He was just messing with your mind, Dale. So they could get the shot off. Jesus Christ. I swear I never come so close to shitting myself. Try to sleep. Okay, love bug? I'm not tired. I know what a gunshot sounded like at her age. Now she'll never be able to stop hearing them. I know. I can't even. She's six, Vince. Six. Ten years working here under three different managers. 
Worst thing ever happened before was a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Take a minute. Get your shit together. Hey! What are you doing over here? Hey, cut the guy a break. He just saved my life out there. He helped us one time. Doesn't mean he'll do it twice. Look, I ain't saying we should give up. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? No helicopter? That pig Romero don't care if we're dead or alive. I don't know anymore. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, <clears throat> Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, standby. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon, better not make me regret this. <sighs> Fuck me. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Huh? Why are you here? Clearly do not. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mama. Hi, sweethearts. Hmm. Paul? Sharon? Hmm. Hope you're here to talk some sense into your boys. You two friends or something? Long story. So how did this whole thing become such a damn clusterfuck? Romero's how. He tries to break in, we ask for a helicopter, he lures us outside, takes a shot at Dale. I swear to God, I could kill that lousy crook. <sighs> Got something to say? No. Come on now. How have my sons been treating you? Fine, huh? Not sure I buy that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. In trouble from the beginning. Always arguing. He saved your brother's life! <sighs> family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But desperate days make for desperate men. They're scared. Just like you are. Just like I am. So tell you what. You help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal?
the sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He what? He wants that book he was talking about. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Whoa, whoa, wait! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <laughs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? What is it, rocket science? I'm not gonna sneak around under your noses when you're the ones holding the guns. Sensible. But it still doesn't mean we can trust you. Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Dale, Jay, don't you worry. I'll get you out of here. You're helping them? Seriously? I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. So if you have any ideas... I thought stay quiet and do nothing was a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, I've been quietly doing nothing all my life. Daddy? Hey, pumpkin. Try to sleep. Daddy, you look scared. Do I? That's not how I feel. How do you feel? The opposite, actually. I feel safe because I'm with you. Okay. Then I'll keep protecting you. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. Wait, we're taking them with us? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. It's some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, but it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. I need to replace most of them. I need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw, easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh... Ain't softwood, so... You saying you got hard wood? That's right. Hey, Tyler, says he's got hard wood. <laughs> Maybe you need a cold shower. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> Should have known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh. Hey. Wanna get high? Nah, still got some shit to unload. I don't think so. Sure? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> well, looky, looky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggle it like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <laughs> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. God's name are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? Mm. Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Pa said the roof's taking too long. 
And then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No, thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. some business acquaintances of your father's. Ah, that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh, Which means you must be Jay. I have been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? If you gotta, just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. <laughs> Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for. If your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. No money. No dollars. And no cents either. <laughs> Interesting. Swiss? The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It, it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, 
Always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Okay, I forgot my damn watch. Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. I tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? This time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. Don't know. I didn't see. Right. And I'm Janet fucking Jackson. What have you gotten yourself into this time? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always. If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. The shed's in the back. Yeah, away from the road. Fear. Gonna be awesome. Why isn't he turning off the lights? Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey. You all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, 
me, the sheriff, my family, if you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. You're not messed up, though. You seem like a good kid. How would you know? You're sensitive, you're smart, you know right from wrong. Ain't that smart. I'm going to jail after this. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened. Got older. Other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, Maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could... Could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them? Taking them and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book. And I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. I hope she keeps on sleeping. Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? What's the plan once we get in the bus? We drive to the border and hope like hell we don't have to stop for gas. Never picked it up going on. They don't have any reason to harm us. We just gotta get through it. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order. And all the hush money? Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do. I'm not signing. I'm gonna take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight lessons. In the country? We can't go home again? Vince. Grow up. Do you even realize how far past going I've been thinking a lot, too, over the last few days, I'm and... Sorry, There's no going back now. I need to ask you something. Anything. The other night, when you... When I got that text message and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. 
Why? You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. You know that? So I've been told. Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? Uh, it's Dale. Dale Halt? No. The one they caught shoplifting. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Look, I, I seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well, there's that bar near there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if, um, you'd want to go there with me sometime. Well, all right. Uh, it's a date. On your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. thing, even though it seemed like the wrong thing. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your mom, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Even I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Off here. The hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did 
bet you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like this mall. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? Uh. You got it? A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. I don't know if I can do that, Pa. Ain't no use to him now. All the same, it still doesn't feel right. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Yeah. Dig. Uh, please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for. Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your mall. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. You want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. Now listen, when I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. Yeah, I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hit it. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? 
It had to be. Please. Oh, help. shit. We gotta cover him up before he... Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. Save him! Pa, please! He's beyond saving, son. Like that crazy horse. Now, are you gonna help me or not? We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. <laughs> Look like you need it. Not for me. Too early. Ain't early. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. <sighs> you take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can't get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people, they ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance. It'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this.
No, no, don't die. Don't die. <sighs> Still my paw. I don't want to lose you. Life. And I'm what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside. You'll be digging your own graves. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now, should've let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. It's my fault. I should have told you about the debt. No, I won't hear that, sweetheart. You didn't bring this on us. You want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. Out, okay? Please hurry. <sighs> Damn it. Hang on. Mark, it's over. We can't win. Mother... 
Remember, love bug. I'll be right here. Okay, pumpkin. You ready? Please, don't make me. The flames are coming up the stairs. We need to go now. Go on, Joyce. We're right behind you. Look out! my back. Now hold on tight. Quick, away from the flames. Mommy's gonna be fine. And Grandpa's just outside. We'll all be together again. Really soon. You promise? I do. Come on, kiddo. That was the lowest setting. You don't want to feel it on the highest. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Negative, Coburn. I got it covered. Uh, Zoe, run! Where's Sharon? Where's the book? I don't know. What are you doing? I gave you every chance to do the right thing. I trusted you. And you chose them over me. They made me do it. I was gonna give it back to you, I swear. I don't care about why or how. The hoax. <laughs> then nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. Myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. Yeah, the thing is, I... I don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> oh, fuck! Hey, what do you think? 
think you're going? I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. <laughs> Electrocute that asshole. Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello there. Where's my daddy? Want to go for a ride, Dad? Let her go. I don't think so. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by... by taking my little girl? Relax. It ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. Atta boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Shit. <sighs> Thank you. Jay, shoot open that gate and get the truck started. She's six years old. Don't you think she's seen enough for one night? So have my boys. So have I. I'm sorry, Vince, but we need her. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, you need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled, uh, we gotta go. Wait, look. Look, I'm no lawyer. But in Arizona, there's a death penalty here, right? If you take Zoe and anything happens, no jury's gonna let you off for that. But if, if it's me, if I come willingly, maybe I was even in on it. He's making sense. Fine, let's just go already. Go on then. Daddy! Oh God, Zoe. Come on, you're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Just look after Mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, 
You always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. In case you need to see in the dark. I love you, Zoe. I'll... I'll... I'll be waiting for the moon. say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now. Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. like that, you know? It's strange where life can take you. <sighs> I'm sorry this is happening. Me too. Jay, eyes on the road. The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Do. We'll make it. Just keep driving. seconds of peace, then instinct takes over. the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long-tongued liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down.
stop God Almighty, let me tell you the news My head's been wet with the midnight dews Now I've been down on bended knees Talking to the man from Galilee My God spoke, he spoke so sweet Thought I heard the shuffle of angels' feet He put one hand upon my head Great God Almighty, let me tell you what he said Tell that long-tongue liar Go tell that midnight rider Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter Tell him the God's gonna cut him down Tell him the God's gonna cut him down You may run and hide, slip and slide, try to take the moat from your neighbor's eyes. But sure there is the rich and poor, you're gonna reap my brother what you sow. You may run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down.
Before I started going to the pool, I used to run. 5Ks, 10Ks, didn't matter. Not how fast I sprinted, not whether I came in first. It was like trying to outrun my own shadow. But it's not my shadow I'm running from now. It's his. And he was running long before I was. I said turn off the engine! was a getaway. Bad news. That's the idea. Cut the engine. Christ, I can't believe this. <sighs> We're alive. That's something, at least. You get the wood dumb for, right? We could still go to the cabin. How? On a magic carpet? Half the damn state's looking for us. And if anyone knows it's there... Cops will be halfway to Devil's Gulch before they realize they're not following us. The cabin's off-grid. Bear never told a soul about the place. We don't know that for sure. It's a huge risk. Well, Jesus, Tyler, we gotta go somewhere. Ma's right. The cabin's the safest place we got. Nobody asked you. Hey, don't talk to him like that. Look, you got away. Can you let me go now? Shut up. Rob the sheriff, bust to Mexico. Fuck, Ma. <laughs> All we do is cover up one mistake with the next one. We left Dale lying there. We just... We just left him. Why don't we talk in private? Keep an eye on him. Now, I know none of this has gone like we planned. And what happened? Hey, the unlock the door. The what? No, I can't. Right Come now, on, man, this could be my only chance. If Tyler sees you, he head. won't if you hurry. Where Come on, please. Go quick, before they notice. Thank you. And, uh, hey, about Yellowstone? It's fine. I know I'm never going. Never say never, okay? What the? Are you nuts? They'll hear it for miles. How'd he get the door open, huh? Tyler, it's spilt milk. Let's just get moving. Yeah. We're 
heading for the cabin. We'll be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the highway before that chopper circles back. You know you just gave up our only bargaining chip? A person ain't a chip. You sure Pa didn't tell anyone the cabin's there? Barely told me about it. I guess the motorcycle's there. And the food. See? Now you're looking on the bright side. <laughs> Get him out! He's gonna die in there! Hey, you hear that? Fuck! They found us! We gotta leave him! Go, go, go! Hey, I think I saw someone run. goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. Hey. Let's go out to the cabin and get high. Where is it? Well, why can't I find it? The, the cabin. Hey. I think I need water. Somewhere at the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. All except one fearless young adventurer. His name? Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his, uh, his... His... 
uh, his ability to make split-second decisions. And this is the story of his quest. No! Look, Shima! I drew the story about the fort. You know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. He was out hiking with his dad, out by the ridge. There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it, too? We could camp out for the night and, uh, I don't know, do other cool stuff, like, uh... Like... We could sit under the night sky and look for shooting stars. Just me and you. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because Because I... you're busy, like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right. If you say so. Whatever. Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. Go get the mail, Ash. Screw this. Thunderstorms ahead, climbing to 30,000 feet. No, this, this can't be right. Ah, oh, Mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash. I, I can wait. Definitely. Sure I can. Hello?
Here you go. by the ridge. You're a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. No way. <laughs> Gotta get water. Gotta get warm. I'd eat my own arm right now. Oh, man. Let there be a medicine cabinet. <sighs> Hurry it up. What's the news? Hate to say it, but we've lost them in the woods. <sighs> Send out search parties. And notify local radio stations. I want everyone in the country knowing the name Holt. Roger that. <sighs> the Holts. Think we're gonna catch them? I'd say 50-50. The next 24 hours are critical. So it just depends on how smart they are. I should stay inside.
That's the woodman's cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You kept babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? No. I, uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway. I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. No. I'm not that hurt. I mean, not hospital hurt. You could be. You should get checked out. I'm not, though. <laughs> I swear. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. Are you okay? You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah, the high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The Juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. I'm Vanessa. Look. Could I rest here a while? My head, it's... I'll stay out of the way, I promise. Mm, I guess I don't mind the company. But you have to be gone before eight, or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> Good to know. Here, these are old, but they're clean. Thank you. So, why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah, I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but what was your excuse? Got tired of getting D's? It's better than F's, isn't it? You get F's if you don't try. D means you tried and you failed. See? Much better. BB, where's my sandwich? I'll be right there. Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hang on, I forgot my cigarettes. You haven't smoked in years. Haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed. Three more are still on the loose. You okay with ham and cheese? Oh, none of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who had a prior conviction for assault. There's speculation the other suspects are members of the same family. Mima, we have a visitor. Um, hello there. Hang on, I know that voice. Huh? Oh, Lord Almighty, you're home. Is it really you, Maddie? I'm sorry. We've never met. My name's Dean. Oh. Maddie died, didn't he? Yes, Mima. The things a mind can forget. Here. Let me help. So, Dean, what does a high school dropout do all day? I'm not judging. I'm just jealous. I 
I have a job. Driving deliveries for a hardware shop. Oh. Do you like it? It's all right. It gets me outside. Anyway, I, I don't got a choice. Ma says I gotta earn for the family. That sucks. You're too young for that. Legal working age is 16. I'm two years in. Tell you one thing. Matthew made better sandwiches than him. I made your sandwich. And it tastes like cardboard. Because you won't let me use condiments. <sighs> I'm gonna go listen to Murder, she wrote. <sighs> it was nice to meet you, Dave. She used to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license. She knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt. Matthew, he's your... My brother. <laughs> he died in a car accident. And we have the same voice or something? He was soft-spoken, like you. People thought he didn't have anything to say, but... Usually he just wasn't saying it. My brother died too. Kinda recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh, that's horrible. I know. Look, do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week, and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know, you were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the U.S. presidency? <sighs> Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just going to skip it. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. He was always trying to protect me from things. Mm -hmm. From our older brother, from Pa, when he was on a bender. Your dad, he's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. Now he's fighting for his life in a VA hospital. Damn, your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? He was up painting a roof and fell off a ladder. The way he landed. Oh, man. I'm sorry. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but sometimes I wish my dad would fall off a ladder or whatever. Come on. You don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Ever thought of just leaving? Saying no to the whole thing? Where would I even go? Just someplace else. There is no place else. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <laughs> hey, you want to help me study? Oh, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's always better with someone else. Okay, sure. Minnesota? No. <laughs> Wyoming? Still no. Oh my god, I give up. It's Alaska. Over three million acres of parks, all protected. Only place with more is Canada. Let me see. Okay, your turn. What? No, I Which don't- Which president signed the 1906 uh... Landmark Antiquities Act created the Forest Service, and established five national parks, including the Grand Canyon. Wait, I think I saw this on TV. Um, I think it's Roosevelt. Which Roosevelt? Theodore. 
Teddy. How the hell did you know that? Because it's a cool story. See, there's this guy Muir. He was a naturalist. He went camping with Roosevelt once, convinced him to protect the wilderness with a new law, and Roosevelt did it. <laughs> wow. Want to take my final for me? <laughs> nope. Too bad, because I am officially going to fail. So? You don't need some tests to know that you're... You're smart, and... You know what? Never mind. Dean, that was, like, really sweet. <laughs> Shit, he's home early. Just say you're a friend from school. Actually, no, say you're my study partner. The school paired us up because... Hi, Dad. I thought you were working late. I didn't see another car out front. Who's this? Uh... This is Dean, from school. Hello, Dean, from school. Hello, sir. Well, I'm glad to see you studying. But remind me, Dean, which school do you go to? Uh, the Bridgley School. Yeah, that's right. Dean's new at school. That's why the academic office put us into a study group together. Fine. But you didn't ask permission. Well, you weren't around to ask. I should go. You're not going anywhere. I like to know who my daughter spends her time with. You're a cop? I run a private security firm. His company guards banks. In a town that hasn't had a bank robbery in decades. Enough, Vanessa. Anyway, that might be changing. You hear about this motel massacre down on Route 66? Oh, right, on the radio earlier. They catch them. So do I. There's a manhunt underway. Once the FBI gets some sketches of this Holt family, their faces will be all over the country. Jason! Mm. I need your help with something. Get back to the studying. And next time, you ask before you bring a stranger in the house. <sighs> I am so, so sorry. I really think I should leave. You can't. Not yet. Vanessa, where's Mima's audio book? Hang on. It's probably in the bathroom. <sighs> Dad, have you checked her underwear drawer? Why would it be in an underwear drawer? Ask her. Hey. Um, I really gotta go. I've gotta get home. And I... I feel a lot better. Thanks for saying goodbye, at least. You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. You could help me study again sometime? Over coffee? <laughs> I always wanted to try a fancy coffee. Here, let me give you my 411. Call during the week. He's almost always at work.
Wake up and hang these bush tails in the pantry for me. Damn it, I'll do it myself. Pussies. You're threatening letters. What's the matter? Can't face me like men? Well, I ain't got your ten grand. So if you want it, go well, fuck yourself. Ah. Okay. Here's how we get out of this hole. Come Take on. what is left. Come on. Five grand. Buying a high stakes game. Son of a bitch! You tell anybody about this place, I'll find you and skin you alive, you little rat! broken. Please don't be... Ah! Mom. Mom. I'm sorry. I should have come straight home. Adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Willemma. <laughs> He's gonna be so surprised. <laughs> That's today. <laughs> oh, Mom. I got half the sheriff's department looking for you. Tell my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now hold on. You tell her yourself. You okay? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to you? I was... <laughs> I was looking for the fort. Ash, what are you talking about? What happened to you out there? I... I couldn't find it. I fell. Got lost. That's all. <laughs> Ash? 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 Easy, easy. Hey, I got you. We're gonna get you to a hospital. Okay? Jay! 
Oh God, I thought I lost you. I thought they got you, Ma. I was so scared. I'm fine, darling. Nothing a couple of aspirin won't fix. Are you okay? Better now. What were you thinking? Sneaking up on us like that. Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, then... That's for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. You know that, right? I got yours too. You're my brother. Good. I'm gonna take first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow. We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? I know a guy in Eagle Pass can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Because he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Kanab. Say he's our scout. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No, I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey, you think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> We both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell, I barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me who takes it on the chin. Tyler, the eldest, the responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leave it. This is crazy. I'll stay. You two go. You'll never survive out here alone. But Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. go with you anyway. <sighs> what kind of person abandons his own brother? The kind who's sick of you always acting like you got someplace better to be. Well, maybe I wouldn't if you were nicer to me. <laughs> Come on. You've been that way since the day we took you in. What? You're real, Mom! Should have done us a favor! Tyler! Enough! What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? <sighs> You are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. It matters to me. Who's my real mom? My younger sister, Brooke. She died giving birth to you. You had a sister? Who was my father? You don't have one.
Shouldn't have been Dale. Should have been you. I'm leaving. You better hope I don't get caught. Jay, please. Let's talk about this. Tyler, what are you doing? He knows the whole goddamn plan. Jay! Jay! Don't you dare hurt him! Jay! Get back here! Look, forget what I said, okay? Of course I'm your brother. I used to change your diapers. I know you once tried to keep a squirrel as a pet. And that you hate Ma's baked potatoes. I don't want to hurt you, Jay. I just need to know you're not going to tell anyone the plan. Oh, no, you don't. Get down here, Jay. I swear to fucking God. Take a fall. How the hell do you climb so fast? I don't look down. Look, Jay. It's been a long day. I shouldn't, uh... You don't gotta say it. I know what I need to do. Which way are you gonna go? Maybe north? Like you said, cops won't expect it. And good luck out there. And remember, when it's them or you, pick you.
Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. Please, can I have some water? You want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. <sighs> now, how's that for dumb luck? Excuse me. Are you headed north? How far? Hmm. Far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. Must have left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. What if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, what the hell. I'm bored. Twenty-seven. Your turn. Right. Mmm, not bad. I've played before. Ready for round two? Forty-seven? What's that? 25? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. <laughs> Final round. Stakes are high. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Hanging in there, though. For now. No rush, kid. Hate for you to mess up now. Did I win? You sharking me? I ain't got no patience for sharks. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18-year-old male, sand-colored hair. Connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock? Who's asking? Someone who was there. Shit. Fucking cops. <laughs> Does this look like a place that serves 18-year-olds? <laughs> Go for it. I'll keep it busy. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. This one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about <laughs> you? Seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. 
Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, as Shane at the bar, that big guy Gene who comes around for dinner, and Kyle, oh, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No, I didn't say I did, but if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, <laughs> I could just call you anyway. Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? No. It wasn't me. Too bad. For a second there, I almost liked you. Hey! What about my ride? It wasn't a fair bet. Yes. Please state your name. Tell her it's her study partner. Hello? I have a collect call from your study partner. Um... I, I don't have a... Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I was wondering when you call. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? The cops, they think I did something. I didn't, but... What do they think you did? There was this burglary, and I was there. I was part of it. But I swear, I, I didn't want to be. I got dragged in, and now they think... It's okay, Dean. I believe you. You do? I have good instincts. You're not that kind of person. Look, things have been shitty here, too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for like half the summer. Seriously? I know, he's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. 
near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay, I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Soul Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. <sighs> gonna regret this but right now you're all I need I know Marlon two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style what's got you so <gasps> hello Who's there? Sorry, sorry. You you can. Uh... Jesus, I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a. What you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. <sighs> Bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost my sons. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest, take a shower. Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! <clears throat> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons... <sighs> What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost her home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. I thought you'd be over the border by now. It all turned to uh, shit, Paul. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter.
Oh, Jesus. I is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Didn't say nothing about Tyler, though. You say you lost him? <sighs> that damn bike. Cops were on our tails. He held him off. Told me to meet him at that old church out by Greenbell. Two nights I waited. Don't know where he is, but after what he saw them do to Dale. My beautiful Dale. He'll stay one step ahead. I know he will. <laughs> Sorry. And Jay, he got away too, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was gonna expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were gonna do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? <sighs> always used to dream I'd find a girl, settle down. Then I met my wife, and for a while at least it came true. Till I went and blew it. So much for happily ever after. I get it. No one should have to be alone. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon. Back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. It wouldn't have worked. Don't be so sure. You've always been a good friend. When those <sighs> thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink, don't you? Every part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... I should have known better. Look. Nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. And this help you need. Does it help me, too? Of course it does. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> the cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID, 
All a person's got to do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me, and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback. Call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you say us being together wasn't meant to be. But I say this is our chance to change that. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion, or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see your boys again. That doesn't mean I can't help them. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Guys, it's me. Open up. Shit. It's Dante. Fancy seeing you here. Hey, cool outfit. Uh, yeah, right. I was so busy packing for the road that I forgot what I was wearing. Can I come in? Uh -huh. <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. You might be the nicest person I ever met. I promise. I'm not that nice. Then why are you helping me? Look, if someone accused me of something I didn't do, my brother would have been right there in my corner. But when he was in trouble, I couldn't help him. So if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just... If you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. Can you go to your family? To your mom, maybe? She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that she needs to book in this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you... You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What? you doing in a Salt Lake City hotel? It's none of your business. What are you doing? Is it meth? Ketamine? 
Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life, lying all the time, until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure, let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning, with enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No, I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Dale showed me once. But I think it's these ones. Ah! Okay, not those ones. Hey! Dean, look. just ran off with a fugitive. Uh, they're driving a phase convertible. Thanks for taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. I like this too. No one to answer to, nowhere to be. I'm just wondering why it took me so long. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. Only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. <sighs> Could you hand me my cigarettes? Uh -huh. <clears throat> I 
wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. He must care about you if he came all this way. No. He wants to be in control. He thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? <laughs> I'm doing this, aren't I? I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Lie about myself to someone I like. What was the lie? It doesn't matter. Well, who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Just don't ever lie to me. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you. But he'll help me. I said, open up. Hide. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Be right there. Hurry up and stop playing with yourself. <sighs> hey, waiting out here like a prick. Get your pants on, I'm coming in. Sorry. Hi. I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but... After what he's been through... Right. Oh. You look a little flushed. <laughs> Got some of your stuff they saved from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez. It's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any, uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Find a... find a job? Something different? Y yeah Gardening, maybe. Change a career? Sure. You know, I was almost an analyst for the FBI. Fucking desk job. <laughs> Imagine it. Ah, seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, it's me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, 
we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Cuz, talking to you. you. You knew I was in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. You, uh, sure you're okay? You look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah, oh. guess not. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about, uh, about the motel and all that stuff with, uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh-huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Electrocuted in a damn bathroom. That's what. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. Hmm. <laughs> what a week. But Sharon, uh, she'll get what's coming to her. Whatever rock she's crawled under, I'll find her. So help me God. If you ask me, she's halfway across the country by now. Nah. Sneaking back to Two Rock is exactly the sort of thing she'd do. Could be right under our noses. Hey, you know we had history, right? Back when I was a deputy. Wanted me to leave Becky for her. Of course, she was much better looking back then. That's so. Because I always thought it was the other way around. That you wanted her to leave Bear. <laughs> no. You got your wires all crossed there, Paul. That bitch was crazy as shit. I've done some bullets in my time, cousin, but... <laughs> that one... Hmm. Behind you! Look out! <laughs> Oh, you 
dumb, stupid, gullible fool. Drop the scissors. I am not going to jail. I'm not. You're just gonna have to kill me. Don't think I won't do this, Sharon. I'm taking you in to answer for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. You ain't getting it. I don't. I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. No, oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? She'll give you the book. We can do a deal, right? Let us go. We, we won't tell no one about the money. What? Paul, it ain't over yet. We can make it. You'll never get this book. I know she made you do this, Paul. <sighs> Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. We can be free together. You can do this. I know you can. This shirt! You sure we fit in? Well, it's all we could find. Excuse me? Have you seen Todd? He said he'll be back in an hour. Todd was pissed when his parents wanted to move to Idaho. But his dad had family here and they have all kinds of money, so... This isn't good. There's too many people. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? Not for me. Thanks. 
One of us needs to be thinking straight. I feel so good right now, like a feather with legs. Glad you're having so much fun. This is the absolute best I have ever felt in my whole entire life. We should take some pills with us for the road. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a soda. Okay. Last person I expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. <sighs> what are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together, in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo will fucking do. Now get out of my room, or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. I'll be at the car. feel amazing? Dean, why'd you follow me? I had that. You said he was your brother's friend. He was. But we also went out a few times. I didn't tell you because... I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't even into him. But you wanted to be alone with him. So I could get him to help us. Which, admittedly, he didn't. But I did snag this. So, did the two of you... Did you... 
Wait, are you jealous? I don't know. Maybe. Dean, that's sweet. But don't be. I asked him to find an old photo of my brother. And when he wasn't looking, I stole some cash. That's all. What about the fake ID stuff? Oh, he won't help with that. He... wanted too much. How much? A blowjob. <sighs> Just forget about it, okay? He's a fucking asshole. But he's not worth it. I wish you'd told me the truth. Maybe I should have. Look, I saw a campsite off the highway. I still feel pretty good. How about we go have our own after party? Yeah. All right. Idaho, huh? And I thought it was all potato farms. Something, ain't it? <sighs> You're not like the guys at school. Football players, and the mathletes, the future farmers of America. You're different. I don't know. You're real somehow. Not trying to be. I don't know what it is, but when I look at you, I, I just feel happy, safe. I trust you, Dean. Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And that house I said we robbed? It was Sheriff Romero's. Huh? I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home, we ran, got holed up at this motel on... Route 66. Oh, one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. Uh. Are you angry? It's... It's just a lot. Why did you tell me? Like you said, you trust me. And I trust you too. More than I trust anyone. Sorry, I... I don't know why I did that. Don't be sorry. That was nice. 
Real nice. Maybe we can do it again when we get to Canada. Wait, we? What? You thought I was going to miss out on all that maple syrup? I'm coming with you. You can't. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm wanted by the FBI. Dean? Or Jay, I guess? I haven't had a life in Two Rock since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform, helping Mima, waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission. This is my chance to become someone new. Do you not want me to come? Of course I do. But... Are you sure? You're gonna learn something. I can be really stubborn. Okay. Then let's go to Canada. Then let's go to Canada. So, Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holts have been in Two Rock over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. been a part of that family all my life. Don't matter who my parents were. I'll always be one of them deep down. All units, be advised. Teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. I beat my record. Forget something? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. Not really feeling it. Oh, right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about, holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days, I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? It's nothing. Just 
Beating the clock. You don't want to just try out for the swim team or something? I don't do teams. I should be getting home. Look, it's just... So, I had a friend in middle school. She was, like, infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class, captain of the soccer team. And one day, we're all on this field trip, and boom, she disappears, gone. We event... I just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen. Did you just see that? The guy in the hoodie? I don't see anyone. But the Lord works in mysterious ways. So, I talked to Mima. What? When you were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any... No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I hate hiking. But, hey, guess it's time to be flexible. I'm gonna be a wanted criminal now. You're not a criminal. You're just helping a friend. Did you watch the O.J. trial? The what? <laughs> O.J. Simpson? All-American football player accused of murdering his wife because she's screwing some waiter? I don't really watch TV. Huh. Well, the point is, nobody's what they seem, you know? Like, <sighs> what are we capable of? Are we all just killers waiting for our switches to get flipped? What about kindness? Hmm. We're capable of that, right? See? The world needs more people like you. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's house, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Wait, was that you? Yeah, but I don't want to hear. I do. Describe Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. Ugh, they say it like dropping out's a crime. Holt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. If you see either of these violent criminals, please call 911 and make... They're just making it sound all big. You're not dangerous. Neither am I. I just... I can't believe we're on the news. Let's just get to Canada, okay? Yeah, okay.
Okay, don't stress. We'll figure this out. Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We we're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? We were in Salt Lake City. We're on a field trip for our... with our church. Which church is that? Uh, LDS? You know, the Book of Mormon? Two teens in a beige convertible, huh? Please stay in the vehicle. We need to get out of here. If he reports us, we're screwed. Dispatch, I'm here at the pass. Hold just a moment. We're dealing with a pileup at the bottom of the grade. Back up. They wrecked my fucking car! Hey, Dad. How's the, um, new plane? Oh, you are gonna love it. So much quieter than the old one. So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lectures coming out of your ears. I get it. <laughs> So how about your mom and I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? To be honest, Dad... I'm not sure the program's right for me. What are you saying? You're <laughs> dropping out? You've been wanting to study journalism since the ninth grade. No, just... Weighing my options, that's all. Dropping out? Is that Zoe? Relax, honey, she isn't dropping out. You bet your pants she isn't. Not without talking to us first. <laughs> Zoe? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go. bottle <sighs> pill bottle am I just not seeing it that huh
Jesus. Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Think. Where did you put them? Who's there? Grandpa. Zoe! I know it's late, but I, I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. It's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Uh -huh. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Uh -huh. Hey there, Zussie, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. <sighs> now, please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh... Maybe. I, I, I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. <laughs> I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk, and, uh, and I, I saw someone, and... Uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home. Oh God or... damn it! I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still. Somebody will have to pay for that door. Send us the bill. Huh? I'll make sure it gets paid for. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please get him help. Mm -hmm. A conspiracy to extort money from a vulnerable old man. That's what this is. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of... Unsafe. You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? Uh... 
me. I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmares started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. I told Mom and Dad. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic, I expect. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean and disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take it from someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. <sighs> Remind me, where were you when this guy broke in? Just down the hall, I think. Sometimes I water those petunias on the shared windowsill. I thought you said you were taking a walk? Oh, uh, I was. <laughs> or I was going to, anyway. Law books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. <laughs> Grandpa, are you taking your meds? I don't like them. They make me fussy. Okay, it's your body. Grandpa, are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? How can I be sure of something I can't remember? Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Sounds awful. I can't even begin to. You must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually, 
Someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid, seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously, you don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles or... Or what? No. Oh, it's impossible. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember. You trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. hear the sirens. Did we lose them? For now, at least. But we should hide the car to be safe. <sighs> Haven't heard anyone behind us yet. So maybe we'll make it. If I don't collapse first. Here. You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Uh, 
Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just going and going. How do you do it? You keep going because you have to. Right. Easy as that. Well, let's keep going. Ugh. My God, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert, and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. <laughs> there. That's better. Glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. Oh. <gasps> Get down. Uh. Vanessa, are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea? Who you run away with. His name's Jay. I know all about what happened at the motel, and honestly, I don't care. Vanessa. This isn't right. He can't be alone. If you know who he is, then you know he's a murderer. He killed cops, Vanessa. He's going to death row. You have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't do any of that. They got the story wrong. Look, I don't even care. I just want my daughter back. It's never happening, Dad. That part of my life is over. <sighs> She's not gonna turn on him. We stick with plan A. Jay Holt, you are under arrest on the authority of the FBI. I'll admit, I thought you were smarter than to hightail it away from a highway checkpoint. But so be it. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. I have a clear shot. I'm a suspect. <laughs> Jay Holt! Step out! Come on! Let's go, let's go! Come on! Go, go!
do now? Orders down there. Past the lake. We gotta jump. Off this? Vanessa! Wait! Stay back, Dad! You jump, you die. You'll never make it. We might. You don't know. Vanessa, whatever you think about me, you were my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. When is the last time you said you loved me? I'll give you a clue. It was never. Okay. I'm bad at saying it. I'm bad at a lot. After your mom died, I didn't know how to. I'd say left, you kids would go right. The more I tried, the more you both hated me. And then Matt went off the rails, and I... I know you think I'm a monster, but I do love you, Vanessa. If you say we can survive this, then I believe you. But let's just do it before I change my mind. All right then, on three. One, two. Wait, Dad? Yeah, honey? Tell Mima there's an extra pack of cigarettes under the sink. No, Vanessa, don't! No! You sure this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. My God, Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. You look older, too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. Nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. 
thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said, in your letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that, until you started writing. Oh. Is that girl still here? The one you ran away with? No. No, she's gone. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country, I think. Don't know where. Tyler got away, too. My pa and I sent letters a few times. But he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped, too. And that's it. And it's just me now. Her name was Vanessa, right? Can I ask what happened? We spent six years together. Me and her. Slept outside when it was warm. Used to read books to each other by the fire. <laughs> but in the end, uh, I guess she missed normal life. I think she's in California now. I'm just grateful for the time we had. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. You know, the world thought you were dead after you jumped off that cliff. We almost were. I blacked out when I hit the water. Vanessa pulled me to shore. Spent weeks on foot after that. Had some lucky breaks with the weather, but we only made it because we had each other. In all these years, you've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town. But you don't really know. You just feel people looking. So now I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. So, why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came, in person. Why? I keep seeing your face, and my dreams, out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye. That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out. Do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. And what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Maybe in some ways. Jay, why? Why'd you start writing me? I told you. There's a lot I never got to talk about. I know. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. 
all these years later. You'd think I'd be able to move on, but I never have. You must hate me. After everything my family did to you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. Your family killed a lot of people. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time, but you also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that too. How can you be so forgiving? You're a hard person to feel angry at, Jay. Maybe in my nightmares. But in real life, you're... You're just a guy. Who did some terrible things. Jay. Are you okay? I mean... Are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That family's family, and I did it because but I was one of them. What if I'm wrong? What if it's who I am? Do you think I'm bad? Am I... Am I broken? You gave a scared little girl her stuffed owl back. No one bad and broken would have done that. You remember that? Of course. You shouldn't have been there. You were just a kid. So were you. Uh -huh. oh, I should get back down to the bus stop. Wait. I, I was going to make dinner soon. Do you want some? Jay. I don't know. It's rabbit, and it's beautiful here at sunset. Rabbit, huh? Ah, they're so good braised. Show you how if you like. I am kind of hungry. <laughs> the thing about shadows is you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Why are some of us able to grow and change? Even when clouds have blocked out the sun. Why do some of us find ways to endure? just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, the desert dream, all of it. I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and let me see Zoe, so, okay? 
Okay, tell him he can have it. It's all in two of Everybody's got a little hole in the middle. Everybody does a little dance with the devil. And you know I'm even there. And I shout it loud and proud. Saying, born in the USA. And you know.
Shout.